What are going on people? So this week on the stage, Winfred Williams was interviewing Tony Kelly. And people, I'm one of them that didn't know who Tony Kelly was. And I'm glad I really can put a face to the name now because from I was a youth growing up, I always been hearing about Tony Kelly. And personally, I didn't know who Tony Kelly was. You know what I mean? And to know all of what he said to Winfred Williams um, with um, the engineering of his here from the beginning of him going to um, King Tubby's and King Tubby's people, they've been um, an integral part of dancehall as far as I see it because most of the greats, they come from King Jammies, uh, King Jammies and King Tubby's. You know what I mean? And I really see them as the root as the root of where dancehall is and where reggae is right now. You know what I mean? Because they have been working with some of the greatest engineers because Tony Kelly, my people, what he said he did by um, creating all of these beats, even the one way um, he said he did, I didn't even know that he produced that, the one with you dead know with Tiger even make me rate him more because I didn't even know that. You know what I mean? And he's the one who produced that. And the breakout that started a new genre, which is um, the reggaeton, he is the one who produced the rhythm. And see, Tony Kelly is a walking legend. And when Winfred Williams hear this, it's as if he, he took it lightly. But f to know that they sample his beat and it become a genre in of itself, even with the same dancehall pattern, the same dancehall um, slang. Because if you listen to reggaeton people, most of the beats, most of the style is dancehall. It's just in a different language. You know what I mean? So to know that he's the real giant behind it. And working with Beanie Man has given him... Um, a magnitude where this is what his career has um, really making him into right now because Beanie Man was a legend, is a legend still. You know what I mean? For Beanie Man in those times, Beanie Man was the art artist. Beanie Man was like the alkaline, the vice cartel. You know what I mean? So Beanie Man, working with Beanie Man in that time for Tony Kelly was the best thing because obviously they had a chemistry. And he wrote, even though he wrote a lot of songs, Beanie Man was one of the best. Because even when you listen to this rhythm that he's celebrating for the 20th year, the top shelf, if you listen to the rhythm, it's just Beanie Man song is the first song going to come to your mind. You know what I mean? So I think him and Beanie Man working together was a chemistry and that was what um, embedded him into dancehall because it's undeniable. Tony Kelly and his brother Dave Kelly, they um, embedded themselves in dance hall. You know what I mean? And as I said, him working with Beanie Man give, gave him that um, substantial um, relevance, so to speak. You know what I mean? So, big up yourself, Tony Kelly, and you have done the utmost best for yourself and for dance hall because these um, rhythm that you created over the past years, um, I knew them from when I was a child and didn't even know that you were behind some of them. So, major respect for that. You know what I mean? Peace. I'm out. In the country, you have to look pan. And him do great works too, because even though him jail, him still be the champion DJ boy. Yeah. And some boy, we said them didn't want him to go to jail. <laughs> the biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. The biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. I am saying that. Wait for the way. Stick me on, on that if you wish.